So everybody wants to be able to edit the best TikToks, and I've done my part in showing you how you can do it inside of DaVinci Resolve as well as After Effects, but there's one software that I've been leaving out, and that's Premiere Pro. So I took the liberty of learning the software myself and learning how to incorporate my own process in the software, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So if you are a user of Premiere Pro, this video is going to be how you could actually edit the best TikToks inside of Premiere. So sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. All right, guys, so we are inside of Premiere Pro here, like we can see. All we got to do is just go into new make new project and then from there what we're gonna do is just we are going to type in something like tiktok tutorial and i'll just name this tiktok just press create super simple so we got it all set up here and all we got to do is just literally grab whatever sort of footage we have here so i got my cut up footage right here I'm gonna drag it into the timeline and we can see that just like this you need to start doing we got it in our timeline and this is the way that i have my uh, workspace organized. I just have my preview here on the left side. I just like having it like that. And I have my guidelines or my reference lines, I guess I should say, open just for subtitling and pop ups and whatnot. That way I can always maintain center, maintain proper, you know, symmetry on either side. But the first thing I'm going to be going over is cutting. Um, I actually have this pre cut already. So I can't really show you how to cut down, but I can show you how you would cut down essentially so for example to do this um you can just click on the blade tool right here and then you would literally just add cuts to whatever part you don't want in and then you would just click on this part right here and you would just delete it so that's pretty much all you need to do i would do that throughout the entire video until we get down to our final version and that's pretty much that it's literally just cutting out the gaps where you're not talking super simple you just need to do that i have highlighted that in my other tutorials and once you've done that it's going to bring you to your next step which is actually adding subtitles and secondary footage so let's start off with secondary footage so i've gone over this in multiple videos secondary footage is literally anything that isn't your originally recorded footage um so that could be a previous youtube video someone else's youtube video stock footage anything like that so for me in this video i say for you need to start doing content creation so i'm gonna just add a marker and a great website to actually utilize for this would be the website pexels and all you need to do for this is literally look up something like content creation something like that search it up and you know for example i'm actually just gonna look up youtuber and boom perfect we already got something to work with so we're just gonna download this video right here save it to our pc and then what we would do is we would actually drag it into our timeline and use it inside of our video as secondary footage and and that's that's literally all there is to it it's it's super simple so we can see now it and that's you know that's how you do it you just drag it into your timeline you download it from pexels and i would do that throughout my entire video for each thing that i need to add uh, stock footage for um you do the same thing for a youtube video you just drag it into your timeline overlay it um and in the rare occasion that your video isn't scaled and it's like it looks something like this literally all you need to do is just increase the scale to fit the window that's all there is to it really that's pretty much how you do that uh, but the next thing i'm going to be showcasing is actually how you can do subtitles so pretty much all you need to do to do this is just click on your type tool right here which is a shortcut t on your keyboard and you literally can just type in anything so i'm gonna just do if so the first word is you so i'm just gonna type in you and we got a text layer right here so now what i'm gonna be doing is working on actually getting this set up for um subtitles so we can expand our text settings right here after we click on the text layer text press the center align button and then what we'll do is we can just press uh, back on our select tool, press control on our keyboard and drag it up until we get these guidelines here. So that's the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bring it down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is bring it down a teeny bit. And then I'm gonna click on my text and actually change the font to, honestly, let's do Poppins. I think that should be good. And the cool thing about Premiere, we can do literally a built-in drop shadow in the software itself. And it gives us the ability um, to actually adjust these settings. So I'm gonna increase the opacity. And honestly, that should be good. I'm just gonna increase the font size to something like 200 maybe actually not 200 way too big we'll do 150 and the next part of this process would be to go through the entire video and like mark add a marker to every single word that i speak and what i would do is i would add markers you know throughout my entire video i go boom 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 boom, boom whatever you get the idea and what i would do is i would get my blade tool out again and i would cut on every single one of these markers here because we need to actually change the word on the markers because the word is changing so for example 
you need start whatever content creation blah 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 blah. pretty simple pretty straightforward and and that's pretty much that there just start doing content creation there's not much to it but that's that's just the basic process of how you actually add in these subtitles you do that throughout your entire video um, but i want to keep this short and sweet for you guys so we can move on to the next step and that's actually going to be adding that animation um, that i actually have in all my tiktoks and you've probably seen them in all my tiktoks but i have them there so yeah what i'm going to be doing literally uh you would just go up here to import presets and you would select the preset that i have uh which is joshi subtitle animation no bounce and i would drag that on to every single one of these and the only thing is if you have the settings different all you need to do is just add it nest it and then move it down you need to start doing content creation that's the preset in you know an action that's pretty much how you do that a uh, pretty simple process and yeah that's pretty much how you add your subtitles add that animation and it pretty much is good to go other than the fact that you need to add your music so to do this what you would do is you would just find a random um, background song so I have this like champagne poetry instrumental and I would cut it down to the length of the clip and then I would literally just take the level of the TikTok and I'd take like negative 20 negative 25 and that's pretty much that obviously it's not a complete TikTok because I don't have um, the secondary footage throughout the entire thing I don't have subtitles done throughout the entire thing I was just showing you uh, but once you actually have your final product you'll just go to the export tab here you let it load up do its thing you pick your settings, you pick your file destination, and literally just like that, you press export and it's ready to go, ready to post to social media. So if you guys didn't learn something, you heard something that you like, make sure to support me, like, comment, subscribe.